Hey guys and welcome back to another part of the field guide to dinosaurs and in this part I will be going over the how do you say that Lillian Sternus is how I guess you say it it's another predator of the late Triassic it's a cousin of Coelophysis but it is much bigger to me it looks much more evolved than the Coelophysis because there's a size comparison it's a bit taller than us and its top speed is 22 miles per hour or 35 kilometers per hour they their prey is potentially platyosaurus which um i'll be going over in another episode because i've seen it in this book so yeah its habitat is the late triassic just like the zoophysis They've been, the fossils have been found in Germany and in, like, mainly in Germany, so basically in Europe. And yeah, this thing, this dinosaur to me looks like a big time predator of its time because, I mean, look at those gigantic teeth. It has a really big head. It is very big compared to the Coelophysis, so that means it can take down much bigger prey much easier. And I do not believe, I don't think it lives, does it? Um, I don't know. But, yeah, so here's an actual, like, complete picture of it. So, yeah, that is the, I still can't see its name. Lily and Sternus. That's, I guess, oh yeah, and its potential for hurting like a human or a prey item is high because it does have, it's fairly large as you can see from the size comparison. It has fairly large teeth, teeth, big, big teeth. It has fairly large claws, and it's just a big dinosaur that's a predator I'm pretty sure it's also part of the theropod family I'm fairly sure since it's a cousin of the Coelophysis and yeah so that's the Lillian Sternus I actually said it right without looking at the name so I hope you guys enjoy this episode I will be continuing this like I said daily one dinosaur per day from this book so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys all next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!